I I'm sorry, we had a little problem getting this scheduled. I've been traveling a bunch. <laughs> it's great to see you. Great to have you. Uh, Trigger, thank you. I appreciate that. What area are you in? Now? Yeah, now. I'm, I'm, in, L I'm in Los Angeles. I'm looking for a new space for us, a new home for us in L.A. Then that's great. Sounds good. <laughs> It'll be your new home, too, when you come and visit. Hope I'll be there. That's my dream, being there one day. And how did you know that? Because <laughs> uh, I know things. And then you got you to gotta come visit us in New York and Atlanta, too. So when I get time, when I'll be free, I think I'll be there. It's only me to get to an invitation. That will be my ticket to come there. Easy invitation. I, I got a guy. <laughs> okay. Then, since I go to your product, here you yeah. are. That's rare. <laughs> I love it. Bel Air, baby. Yeah, love it too. Then I got the boom boom. This one. Isn't it nice? Isn't it nice? Yeah, it's too nice. It's crazy, you know? Oh, it's so smooth. It, I'm, I, I love my brands. I love my children. Yeah. <laughs> then Brett Berish is the CEO and the founder of Matt Wine and Spirit Brands. What inspired you to come up with these successful brands? And how did you rise in the industry? Uh, I'll work backwards. Um, uh, my dad, my, my family was in the liquor business. My dad was 45 yeah. years at a liquor company. And uh, I loved, uh, it's all he talked about. That's all, when I was a little kid, when I was six years old, he'd give me alcohol to take to my teachers at school. So now I give my six-year-old alcohol to take to his teachers at school. But I grew up in this business and uh, I, he inspired me and I wanted to do the same thing he did. And yeah. I have lots of ideas for brands and each one, each one is like a child. Each one is different. Each one is special. Yeah. Each one is unique. Uh, but my goal is to create the best possible brands in the whole world. Of course, exactly. As we know, Belay is set out in series. What is all about this self-made series? Can you justify it for the unfamiliar market, the market sure. that don't know about this? Self-made self -made is all about, uh, it's what my brands mean. It's when yeah. people hold these bottles... Yeah. It means they've done something, they've achieved something, they've created something. It doesn't matter what it is. They graduated, they passed the test, they 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 got a they got a new job, they got promoted. And what I wanted to do was, and it started a few years ago, Trigger. I wanted to talk to people that I admire yeah. and talk to them and hear their stories, not of success, because I'm talking to you because you are successful. I wanted to hear the stories about how you fought to get there. How, the up and coming side. So to me, it's it's about the what I call the self made side. So I'm very fortunate. I get to interview uh, everybody from from DJ Khaled to Lil Wayne to Wiz Khalifa to Post yeah. Malone. Yeah. Um. And now all over Africa. Yeah, of course, all of Africa. I can see also I passed through your IG. I saw different interview from different sides of Africa. I mean, like. We Nigeria, Ghana, nice. Cameroon, yeah. um, uh, Tanzania, South Africa. Uh, it's everywhere. And it's, it's, it's Congo. I get, Congo. I get more motivated by interviewing people in Africa than anywhere else, because for me, it's, I feel like we can add value. I feel like I can introduce artists and, and, and people in our industry yeah. in the music space as an example to artists in the U S and artists in Europe and hopefully get collaborations going. So it's very self-satisfying for me. How did Bel you get? Yeah, yeah. Pardon me. How did you get connected to these African artists who are working as ambassadors of Bel Air? And what do you consider it, it, to be the ambassador of Bel Air? It, it's the brands. The brands are what got me connected because my brands mean something. And my whole thing, Trigger, is I want to work with people. Um, I, I, I if you're an ambassador, I want to work with you. And I want yeah. that organic connection. I want it to be real. I want it to be a relationship. I want it to be a friendship. I want to work with people where the way I look at it, if bad shit happens, are you going to be there for me? Am I going to be there for you? That's the relationship I want. So yeah. to me, it's it starts with these brands and it's based on uh, um, uh, uh them reaching out to me, me reaching out to them and saying, let's talk, let's figure something out. Let's see how we can work together.
Yeah, names of artists that you work with from African sides, few of oh. them. Uh, every uh, uh, if I take just Tanzania, Diamond, uh, Lil Omi, uh, Hamisa, S Two Kizzy, uh, yeah. Salam S K, Rosarie, uh, Navy Kenzo, Frida Amani. I mean, yeah. that's just in Tanzania, which is awesome. And then it's in Cameroon. It's it's Stanley Enow. It's uh, J Bad Kelvin Boy. Uh, in Ghana, it's Black Sheriff. It's Questy Arthur. It's Zanel Zoo. So it's Questa. I mean, it's it's amazing, and they're yeah. all have a story to tell, and they're inspiring, and they're ambassadors for me and my brands, and I'm an ambassador for them. In Western side, Western Africa. What about Western Africa? So you asked about Western Africa. So Black Sheriff, Questy Arthur, Zanel Zoo, Queen uh, Qu Mina MP, uh, Stone Boy, uh, Jay Bad, Kelvin Boy, Mick Flames. Yeah, uh, all people who I talk to, all people who I support, we try to help. Okay, then you hold Belair, McQueen, Bumble, Violin. These all are different brands. How do you manage yours, and why is it Belair and the most deal to compared to others? Why is Belair most deal compared to others? Uh, Belair's the oldest. Bel Air, they they each came at a different cycle. So Belair is the oldest brand. Um, yeah. And then, our new, then the next one is Bamboo, and then the next one is McQueen and the Ma Violet Fog or Gin. Yeah. And then the last one is Vion, and we got a new one coming in 2023, which I'm excited about. Another new brand. It's all categories <laughs> that I drink. I yeah. drink them. I, 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 uh, and I get inspired to make a product that I think is better than the competition. So which one is most favorite to you? The Belair, Violin, Boom Boom, McQueen, which no, one? No, they're all, it's like I have six kids. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're all my favorite. I'm a, what, what I call, a, I'm a mood drinker. Yeah. Uh, I don't drink based on what I'm eating. I drink based on the mood I'm in, what I feel like, what, what, what inspires me. So each one is different and each one inspires me. That I go to you. Most of the artists that you're rocking with are from hip hop community. Why is the brand highly connected to hip hop? And do you think uh, brand Brelea has played their role in building hip hop artists? I, it, it's because I, I, I think it's for me, it's I support the community. I want to yeah. be involved in the culture. I want the brands to support the community. Um, I want to support people that are both, you know, I, you know, I'm not choosing to support just the 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 little Waynes of the world. I want to support the next artists of the world. I yeah. want to support up and coming artists. I, I it's a, it's a you know hip hop artists to me inspire me. I think they all have that self made side because there is always just one person, one person who has to make themselves successful, and it's inspiring. Yeah. Look at Diamond. Look what he's done, which is amazing, and and that's inspiring. So the hip hop community. They're, they're, they're a beacon of light for me. Then I go to you. The brands Bumbo and Belair have built an organic relationship with artists. Most three being promoted by biggest names in the music. Do you have any other means of promoting the brands apart from this? Um, It's a good question. It's, you know, I, I want to do things that feel natural. And if I'm doing things that, that fall outside of, it just doesn't, it's not me, then it's not going to work. So I, per, I think the areas that I like to focus on, I like sports, I like music. Um, and those are the areas that I want to support. Uh, those two areas are things that I feel good about. So it feels very natural. I think that for me, if you ask Trigger, yeah. the next area of focus, I'm going to do something in the music space. Yeah. I'm going to do something big in the music space to support artists outside of our brands. Then if you leave France, Africa, US states, which other part of the world maybe Belair's most true? The market is. Oh, they're all big. Um that's the beauty of the brand is if you're drinking if you're drinking Bel Air in Bel -Air. Tanzania today, you go to Paris, you want the same brand. If you go to New York tomorrow, you want the same brand. That's the beauty, is is the 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 biggest artists in the world are drinking this the Bel Air or Bamboo or McQueen wherever they go, and I want to be represented there. So to me, they're all important markets. To me, Africa is the uh, to me is my most exciting market because that's the market I want to 
I, I want to be number one in. I want all our brands yeah. to be number one. I think that's the most exciting market in the world right now. So you have been familiar now with Africa, but when will you touch down? Oh, God, I've been waiting for COVID, Dan. So 2023 <laughs> is when I start. I've got plans to visit Ghana. I've got plans to visit Tanzania. I've got yeah. plans to visit South Africa. I have plans to visit Nigeria. My goal is to hit every single country we sell the products. Then that's nice. And and on top of that, uh, so I, I was telling you before we started the interview, we've got uh, 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 spaces in New York and Atlanta that are uh, entertainment, video production, music spaces. I yeah. want to do this in Africa. I want to build our own one in Africa. So it's either going to be in Nigeria or it could be in South Africa. Nigeria or South Africa. For our own space, our own house. Yeah. Then that must be nice. And I and it's a place I want everyone to come and use. It sounds good. <laughs> oh yeah. Different things. We'll yeah. make it happen. We'll yeah, make it happen. Meeting with different ambassadors, but that's a US, maybe like Rick Rose, uh, Wayne Gucci. Yeah. All friends, all great friends. Benson's full all time. All friends of the brands, all brand ambassadors. Trigger, thank you. All the best. Let's keep rocking Bel Air and Bamboo, all right? Right. <laughs> this one. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, my friend. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Then that's be all. Thanks for your time. Thank you. You're okay.